Hi everybody, Pete Greco with Productive Corporation here talking today about recovery time objective and recovery point objective, RTO, RPO. Here's a quick look at the agenda. Let's get started. Most commonly when you're investigating data recovery tools, you're hearing about the worst case scenario, total company outage due to flood, tornado, or nuclear strike, uh, right? These things can happen, but more commonly, you're gonna see hardware failure, employee failure, or a security event like ransomware. This, this year alone, there have been many frightening stories about city governments suffering major financial loss from ransomware attacks and costs associated with them outside of paying the ransom, the cost to recover, get servers restored, this kind of stuff. Now, note a couple of things here. If you feel like governments are the only ones who need to worry, it's just that they're among the group that must disclose because of FOIA. Many small and mid-sized businesses share the same headaches, but it doesn't make the news. Next thing to note, disaster recovery is your last line of defense in a ransomware attack. If you don't know where your first, second, or third lines are, call your productive corp rep. They'd love the opportunity to discuss ransomware and other fileless attacks so that you can prevent them before you have to get to the point where you need to recover. Okay, let's keep moving. RTO, how long does it take you to recover and what's acceptable for your environment? There are quite a few different scenarios here. What am I recovering? How much do I have to recover? And where am I recovering to? The answers to these questions can not only help you identify what your DR budget should be, but also how should your recovery environment be architected in order to best accomplish your goals. Backing up a remote office directly to a main location may save money, but if it takes 10 times longer to restore a full system over the wire, is that still an acceptable configuration? It might not be. For that example, having local backups and replicating copies back to the main office may be the best way to go to ensure a quicker local backup and achieving your desired RTO while still getting the backups off-site to another location. Recovery point objective. How out of date can the data be before it's costing you money? If you're doing online transactions or taking orders via email, you may not be able to lose a single item or transaction. If you had a virtual guest start acting wonky at 3 p.m. and your last backup was from 10 a.m., would that be an issue? In our CRM, so many changes are happening per minute that we wouldn't be able to recreate them if we were more than 10 minutes out of date. If non-recoverable data is costly to you, you may need to be thinking about replication while still doing frequent backups. This is all stuff we can help you uncover or help you make the business case on if you're trying to improve your budget for your DR environment. If you understand your data, you have a good start in figuring out what the answers to your RTO, RPO questions are. Another down and dirty way to get some baseline numbers is start figuring out the cost of downtime in employee wages. Here's a sample spreadsheet that I put together real quick using averages from three different websites, including the Department of Labor, for a typical knowledge worker, right, or white collar worker, maybe you call them. Uh, if you're at a law firm or an engineering firm uh, or some other kinds of uh, high wage uh, organizations, these numbers can go way up as well as the cost of the data itself, right, to create a, a real long legal contract that maybe took uh, uh, a lawyer and a bunch of paralegals to, to put together, um, right? But this can get you started on what you should be allocating for your DR spend. And you can include some additional uh, parameters in here to make this really meet your needs. Now, the easiest thing to do here is call your productive account executive or email us help at productivecorp.com and let's talk about your specific environment and help you understand what options and features you need to meet your RPO and RTO goals. Thanks for watching.